What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So one of the coolest new features in iOS 18 is the ability to change your home screen app icons to literally any color you want. This is the first time Apple has ever officially allowed this sort of customization on the home screen. And if you're trying to get that perfect aesthetic for your iPhone, well, this is definitely the way to do it. There's also some additional new home screen, widget, and lock screen customization options in iOS 18 that we've never had before. Like the ability to swap out the camera and flashlight shortcuts on the lock screen, finally. So in this video, I'm gonna just quickly show you how to do all that stuff so you can customize your iPhone exactly how you want it. First things first, you need to update your iPhone to iOS 18 to get these new features, obviously. iOS 18 was released today, and fortunately, any iPhone from like 2018 or newer is compatible. So if you see your iPhone on this list, be sure to just go to settings, general, and then software update, and install the iOS update if you haven't already. Now to change your app icon colors, this is pretty straightforward. Tap and hold on a blank area of your home screen to enter edit mode. And in the top left corner there, tap edit and then customize. You'll see a new set of customization options pop up at the bottom. And from here, you can do a few things. The default icons right now are currently set to light. The second option there is dark. So if you select that, you can have sort of a dark mode icon theme at all times. All the default Apple apps will change, of course, and most of your third-party App Store apps should change as well, but some apps that haven't yet been updated, like Snapchat here, for example, might not work. But give the developers a few days, and I'm sure they'll all have a dark icon theme. You can also set the icons to automatically change from light to dark, depending on the time of day. And the last option, tinted, is probably the one you're most interested in. This is where you can change your app icons to basically any color you want. You have the full rainbow slider, of course, and you also have a saturation slider. So you can set the app icons to any shade of any color you want to match your wallpaper or anything else. And not only will all your app icons be tinted, but your folders, as well as your widgets and the launcher page, everything on your home screen will pretty much match to whatever color you choose. Now, there's a couple of things to note. For one, as of right now, the app icon backgrounds, as you can see, are only going to be in black. You can't tint your app icons with any other background color, unfortunately, so the apps will always be black and then the color you choose. If your wallpaper looks a little dark, just tap on that little sun or brightness icon off to the left. That'll either dim or brighten your wallpaper, which might make the icons or your theme as a whole look better. And if you want a specific color that actually matches your wallpaper, there's a little color dropper icon on the right. And when you tap on that, you can actually run your finger over a specific color or spot on your wallpaper and choose that as the app tint color. So that's probably a better way to find the right color tint if you want the icons to complement or totally match your existing wallpaper. If you wanna customize your home screen further, there are a few other things you can do. You can actually change the app icon size now and ditch the app icon labels. So in that same new customization menu at the bottom, if you tap on large, you'll see the app icons get a little bigger and the app labels disappear. And of course, you can further change these larger app icons now to light mode, dark mode, or to whatever color tint you want them to be. You can also now place an app anywhere on the screen. It still snaps into place in a four app grid system, but if you wanna spread your app icons around a little more or move a few to the bottom and a few to the top with a big empty space in the middle, you can do that. It works the same with folders too and also the home screen widgets. Those all can now be placed anywhere on the screen with gaps in between them. And aside from looking a little messy maybe, I think this is a great way to further make the home screen unique and maybe give your thumb a break as you place those app icons in a better spot to reach them. There's also a new way to edit the size and shape of widgets. In edit mode, you'll now see a little gray highlighted corner on the widgets. And if you grab that and pull, the widgets will change size depending on whether or not there's a larger or smaller version of it. And again, no matter the size, you can put it basically anywhere on the screen. As far as swapping out the camera and flashlight shortcuts on the lock screen, this is pretty easy too. 
From the lock screen, just tap and hold anywhere to enter the customization mode, then tap customization and choose the wallpaper or lock screen you wanna use. And you'll now see at the bottom there, both of these app shortcuts can be removed and replaced. The nice part about this is Apple actually gives you a ton of new shortcut options to use. Everything from their default apps to certain control center options like airplane mode. There's a ton of accessibility shortcuts you can add, the Apple TV remote, the wallet, timers. And actually, if you wanna set one lock screen shortcut or even have no shortcuts at all, you can do that as well. As weird as this sounds, this is a long awaited and much appreciated new option to the lock screen customization that if you know about it now, I'm sure you'll use since I always see a ton of people wanting something else on their lock screen other than like the flashlight. And last but not least, when it comes to Control Center, this has been completely redesigned as well. You now have three pages of Control Center widgets, settings, and other options to swipe through. So if you're missing something that you're used to seeing, make sure you swipe through the pages to find it. You can add more Control Center pages as well if you wanna organize the various things a bit more or add some new stuff or group things together. And you can also adjust the size, shape, and placement of each Control Center shortcut or widget if it supports it. You can't change the color scheme of the control center, unfortunately. So this will always look the same no matter what your home screen app icons are tinted to, but it's still nice to have some new control center customization options as well. So there you go, for better or for worse, that's how you can customize the home screen of your iPhone with all the new options in iOS 18. It's definitely an interesting addition on Apple's part. A lot of people say the app icon tinting and color changing wouldn't be what Steve Jobs wanted to see, but hey, it's here now, and I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of interesting home screen colors and themes now. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, or at least found it somewhat helpful. Let me know if you have any questions about this in the comments below, I'd be happy to help you out. And let me know what color or theme you ended up choosing, and if you have any tips and tricks for customization as well. Also, be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter, and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.